Hey, George Camel here, Ramsey personality and financial expert. I'm also a millennial and social media aficionado, and I've been seeing lots of terrible financial advice all over social media. And the one that keeps popping up is this thing called universal life insurance. Now, here's how it's marketed. You know you're supposed to use your life insurance while you're still alive, right? And everyone's like, brilliant, an investing policy inside my life insurance. I'm gonna become a millionaire. And they're always touting this crap as secret wealth hacks of the rich. No, hard no. Who actually benefits from index universal life insurance? Well, to answer that, let's break this down into bite-sized pieces and see what it's really made of. Here's what we're gonna cover. What index universal life insurance is, how it works, and whether it's a smart money move or a money-eating monster. Let's start by defining index universal life insurance. Gosh, that is a mouthful. I hate it based on that name alone. Uh, let's give this guy a nickname. We'll call him IUL for short. Okay, sadly, that's still just as annoying. Anyways, IUL gets pitched as this really sophisticated, nuanced, it's so complicated, you don't understand, just trust me, bro, I'm your insurance guy, I'm gonna make you lots of money, kind of thing. Really gross. But it really just puts a new spin on an old and terrible idea. And that idea is whole life or cash value life insurance. It's where you have an investment account and a life insurance policy rolled into one product. And it's something I never recommend because it tries to do two things at once and ends up sucking at both and costs way more than term life insurance. But more on that later. With IUL, you're specifically investing into index funds, hence the name Index Universal. Even if you're an investing rookie, you've probably heard of the stock market and some of the most popular indexes, like the Dow Jones and NASDAQ with those little green or red arrows on your TV screen. Well, with IUL, a chunk of your monthly premium gets invested into index funds. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm a big fan of investing in the stock market when it's done right, but this isn't one of those times. And don't even get me started on why investing with your life insurance agent instead of, you know, an actual investment advisor is a bad idea. And here's the real catch with IUL. Your return on investment will always be slightly below the actual performance of the index. Why? Well, because the commissions and fees your agent makes by selling this crap are insane. And guess where those fees get taken out of? That's right, your investment account. Sound too bad to be true? It isn't. And as you get older, the cost to insure you can start wiping out your entire premium every month. And that means you'll have nothing going toward the investment side of your policy. The insurance company will even start dipping into your investment account to cover the cost of your premium. And now you've got a real money-eating monster on your hands. With IUL, the two good intentions of life insurance and investing can end up canceling each other out. Imagine paying a ton of your hard-earned money to an insurance company every year for the rest of your life. And if you actually wanna use any of the cash value in your investment account, you have to borrow your own money and pay it back with interest. Your own money. But hey, if your investment ends up doing well and doesn't eat its own weight and money, at least your family can live on the extra investment money after you're gone, right? Think again, my friend. Here's the real stinger. Your family only gets the original amount the policy was worth. In other words, if you bought a $250,000 policy but ended up with an additional $180,000 in your investment account, your family still only gets $250,000 if you die. And with that, I ask, what's the real point of combining insurance with investing? If you said helping insurance companies make more money, give yourself a gold star and a high five. So let's compare IUL with term life insurance, which is designed to keep coverage simple. Term life companies know the cost of insuring you goes up over time. So based on your age, the company looks ahead 15 or 20 years and offers you the average rate for the entire term. That price gets locked in throughout the life of the policy. No fluctuating premiums and no worries about a bad stock performance wiping out your policy. Sound like a smarter way to protect your family's finances? You'd be what's known as right. And with all that money you're saving on premiums, you can invest the difference and build wealth on your terms. If anyone depends on your income, you need life insurance. It's there to replace your income if you die. IUL might do that, but it might also rob you blind before you ever see the benefits of it. Term life is the only type of life insurance that doesn't rip you off. So if you don't already have it, I recommend talking to Xander Insurance. They're a Ramsey trusted provider that has helped people find the right plan for decades. They've been covering me and my family for years now. So don't let another day go by without being protected. Get this stuff done and get it done right. You got this. 